going guys josh here aka olufemi and yes it's official instagram tv has launched what do you think about it uh you know there's been a lot of excitement from one area um there's been apprehension uh mainly in my court i'm not going to talk about all the opinions that i have and maybe other people have regarding it yet i just want to give you guys a brief overview as far as getting right in and uploading your content in my opinion I feel like it doesn't matter what you think about Instagram TV right now because Instagram is such a massive platform, whether Instagram TV is the next big thing or it dies at the end of the summer, I'm in Australia, so at the end of the winter, um, it's still something that I feel like we all need to be engaged in and be uploading content to so that we don't get left behind. Now, in my opinion, I feel like the interface is a little bit clunky right now. It took me like a, a good few minutes to figure out how to even upload a video, but I'm gonna just literally go over it real, real quick. And by the end of this video, you will be in the know. All right, guys, we're here in the IGTV interface. You can take a look. Um, it took me a little while to actually figure out how to use this, but it's separated into a few different tabs. The first tab you can see uh, is basically curated content that IG thinks you might be interested in. You can click on any one of these videos and click off of it and click into it. Um, if you wanna go back to the homepage, you're gonna go back to browse and you can go to the next tab, which is following. This is gonna show you content based off of all the people that you're actually following on Instagram. You go to popular. Popular is a bunch of content that's just popular in the IGTV world. And then continue watching is the last tab. And that's basically content that you've watched before that you can continue watching later. So um, you can search for any type of content creators that you want on IGTV. It's interesting, you can't really search for content right now, you can only search for content creators. So that's something that may be updated in the future. Um, and then if you wanna check out your profile, you click on your profile picture up on the right corner or on the right side of the screen. And uh, it says that I haven't uploaded any videos yet, but you can see that it's the same Instagram profile as your actual Instagram page on the regular app. The cool thing is you don't really have to recreate your following on IGTV. Your profile is the same as your original Instagram profile. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna go back to browse to go back to the home screen. Browse again. And um, let's actually click on a video. We're gonna click on this video right here to actually see the video. You can click off onto the video. And you can, of course, leave comments. You can check some of those. You can go and leave likes. I'm gonna like that video. Um, and if you click on the share, you can see that you're only able to actually share this video with other people within the Instagram app right now. And again, that may change later. So that's the basic interface. In my opinion, I feel like it's a little bit clunky. It wasn't quite as in intuitive as you would have thought it would have been. Um, but basically their rationale is they want you to get right into watching content. They don't want you to have to worry about, um, you know, having to really choose what type of videos you actually want to watch. They're going to just put it right in front of your face and then you get to go and, um, you know, keep exploring from there. So that's the Instagram TV app as it is right now, guys. I feel like it's going to change a lot. If you could leave in the comments how you feel about the current interface and I want you to kind of tell me what you think the future is as far as this new secondary element of Instagram, Instagram TV, that'd be awesome. As always guys, thanks for watching and keep it chill. Yeah.